All right, what's going on, everybody? Physio Trader here, going to do a very quick trade recap. Uh, basically, kept it kept a day under 15 minutes, walking away around $100. And you know what? I'm just going to take it. Uh, this is the end of the trading month for me. Um, I don't really see much volume going out there. Everything's just real, still choppy, uh, or still really choppy. So I'm just going to take the money and walk. So taking you over to the first trade. Um, so I was looking over here. Uh, kind of gave this one away, but on PDD, uh, this is one of those Chinese companies, um, Chinese um, education companies, uh, had quite a big of a gap up. Now looking over on the daily, we have just been falling to pieces, and then today we gap up to basically where this opens. Now I expected to see some profit taking once we started to reclaim this number back twice around 85. The, the tape really was speeding up. I mean, this went from 86 to where I got in very, very quickly. So my very first trade, I hot keyed in 200 shares at 87.24, immediately got out in four seconds, took 34 off. Really should have just took the whole thing. You know, in hindsight, you know, the hindsight voice is saying, why did you go in 200 shares, not 2000? Um, but again, this was moving very, very quickly. The, the level twos were flying. We're just absolutely flying. Um, we got up here, came up. I was waiting for a bigger push, came back down about to here. And then we came right back up, cleaned out. And then at that point, that's when it started to rip a little bit higher. And it came back from there. So just to kind of showcase the rest, um, I think it's just now. Yeah, so that's a, that's a live candle there. So let's kind of zoom out now. So essentially... Um, I don't know. We might get a double top around here, around 90. Um, but that is the trade over there. So uh, next up, took a trade on Tesla. Tesla options over here. So I got in on a, I believe it was uh, 645 puts. Um, yes. So I got in 645 puts. Um, I got my first on this candle right here. Um, at twelve dollars, so the bid and the ask is at twelve twenty over here, eleven eighty. I basically got the mid price fill. Um, in hindsight, I should have waited a little bit. Uh, you know, at least got more towards the bid because it light speed does get you closer to the bid and the ask when you're trying to get in and out based on what direction you're going. Um, and I mean, it was just a twenty cent move. Uh, threw out an order for eleven forty, and then. Um, this thing kind of got stuck around 11.60, 11.55, went back down to 11.70, all on this candle. So all of them were filled on this one candle. Um, got the 11.60s, and then right here at the very, very top, got filled on this candle at um, 11.40. And from 11.40, I chose, um, and I was like, okay, well, uh, I didn't want this to get stuck into a, you know, this climb exactly right here. As we started to see some downward pressure, I took two out of the three off at 11.80, and I made, I don't even know what it was, broke even. <laughs> that is interesting. So there it goes. I broke even on it, and then the last trade, I just made the, um, basically reduced my risk at this point, got out at 11.95. I thought I was getting out at 12.10. Um, got out. I actually kept my order at 11.8, just click sell. Um, I just went from two to one, just lowered it. So I you know, theoretically threw in a market order, so I can't complain about the fills by any means. But so I got out, um, you know, I didn't even realize that these were, I guess it's, it, it's good. I'm glad I wasn't, you know, focusing or watching the PL. I I wasn't trying to trade the PL at all today, but you know what? I can make a quick hundred bucks. I have a long day at work today before we go on vacation. And you know what? It's an extra hundred bucks in my pocket before, uh, before vacation, before a long day of work, I will take it. My risk is no longer in the market and I will wait and I will see you all next time.